or something if you're looking to uh, turn your pop-up into more of an off-road and uh, if you don't want to spend thousand of dollars on a brand new pop-up which I didn't I looked at them and, and they wanted thirteen to sixteen thousand dollars for a new pop-up and that's just not something I wanted to spend so I looked at ways to turn my um, Viking 1984 Viking little gasser um, which the canvas is good and everything else is good on it um, looked at how I can make it to an off-road camper and, and it was very simple about uh, $400 later I'm able to do that so what I did was um, we took out the, the single um, independent suspension that it had and it had some uh, tires I think they're 4.80 um, uh, dash 12 tires which are only about 20 inches tall we took all that out um, we buy the uh, an axle from uh, Northern Tools and Equipment and all the stuff that they gave me was probably about two hundred and twenty three dollars and then I went on Amazon and bought a uh, axle flip kit uh, which is forty bucks and then I bought tires on Amazon uh, for a hundred and nine dollars <throat> And then I got another spare, so we're looking at about $150 uh, on tires. So it really wasn't that much to uh, give me about 10 inches uh, of lift. Um, I used to have a 7-inch drop on my 2005 uh, Nissan Titan. Now I got a, uh, I had to go buy a 2-inch drop and turn it upside down. So I raised it up 2 inches, so that's a 9-inch different uh, on my hitch which is awesome because now I have um, about 20 to uh, 24 inches of clearance um, right here. Uh, 20 with this part um, hanging down where I don't have that in the back, I have 24. So plenty to take it off-road. So um, if you're looking to save a lot of money, I would go look for a, a cheap pop-up that has good canvas that you can work on a little bit and, and put a lift. So we're going to go underneath. I'll show you what we did. Um, in, in that way, if, if it's something you're thinking about, um, uh, it was pretty easy to do. Like I said, 400 to $500. So here so we are underneath. Um, one thing we had to do, um, since it's not made for off-road, your um, frame is not as, as thick as the ones that are off-road, so we had to add. Uh, this is some angle iron. It's a quarter inch thick. It's three inches on this side, two inches here. We had to add that because this couldn't take the welding of the uh, shackles um, and, and the abuse that it, it's going to take when we take it off road. Um, so from the one that we had, the axle, the independent axle that was in here, um, it only let the tire down about that much, about an inch or two. And then you can see these tires it had, which are pretty small. Uh, they're, I think they're four inches shorter than the ones that I have now. Um, so we just welded, uh, simple, you know, simple welded this stuff up, uh, made sure we had the tire where it was going to be nice and centered. And then we just drilled holes, four holes in each of these and, and uh, <clears throat> bolted them in. And then on you've seen you can look up ax, axle flips it's pretty easy you just weld um, a little piece on the top so you still have the same bend to your your axle that you need but very simple ax, axle flip gave us about three inches um, and then we got about six more inches from uh, all the rest of the shackles and and just the springs which gave me about nine inches and again 400 bucks versus you know 13 to 16 thousands I will take 400 bucks every time and to me it's kind of retro and looks pretty cool so send your comments if you have any um, and questions or even thoughts there's some other things I'm doing to this this uh, camper too but I'll show those in a later film uh, but uh, till next time we'll see you later